I'm Ivan Rodic, aka Face Hunter. I'm a photographer, blogger, vlogger, culture explorer. So I'm spending one week right now in Lagos, Nigeria to document the creative scene. So I'm making a, an episode of my YouTube channel, Face Hunter Was Here. So I'm like, I've been talking to like uh, musician, artist, designer, poets, and basically trying to to showcase their, their incredible creative energy that you can find in the city. So it's my second time here, and uh, I, I think the more time I spend here, the more I love it. I think it's it's not a it's not a city that gives you everything at the first sight. Of course, it's like the ultimate wealth of this place is the the are uh, the people. So I think you, you need. I mean, you have to go through the hectic, hecticness of the city uh, and not be impressed by that. But eventually, you're gonna reach a point where you're gonna meet all those amazing people and be in those interesting events and I feel like it's such an exciting place to be at the moment and it's definitely one of the hot spots in Africa. My background is advertising. I used to be work, working as a copywriter in like uh, Switzerland, Belgium and Paris and then about t 11 years ago I started to take pictures of people as well at some art openings and I launched like a blog called Face Hunter about faces and then it, I, it evolved into street style so like documenting the style of inspiring people on the street in Paris and then London and then started to travel and it eventually became like a global thing I would go like all around the world and then I realized okay style is one, is great but actually I'm witnessing so much interesting contemporary culture so why not documenting as well the culture and eventually started to work with brands publish books make like a um, web television and la launched like a consulting company in social media as well and now launching my YouTube channel. So it's like a whole spectrum of like cultural exploration, like documenting inspiring pop culture around the world, especially with a focus on less known places. So what inspired me the most is like meeting new people. It's like unexpected things. It's like being in places where usually people don't go because it's not a cool thing, it's not a trendy thing. It's like people are afraid, people don't want. And I wanna, I wanna go where people don't go. And I think every day if you open up to other people, you can, you can be inspired. I think, I mean, beauty, inspiration, greatness is all around us if we're sick for it. It's not always coming to us. Uh, but I think it's really into like those interaction every day with people. Like I've been to a few countries on the continent, but uh, like now I've, on this trip, I'm spending a month on the continent. I've been to some places for the first time, so it's just. The, but that's like proper to any other places. Like it's my first time, so I don't know very well everything. So it, it's a little bit more. Um, yeah, it's a bit, it takes a bit more time to like like get to what I want to do or people I want to see. But I mean, it's not. It's for me like this randomness or this uh, not knowing exactly what's going to happen is part of the experience and the journey and I, I would not say I have major um, challenges actually. Well yesterday I was at this concert it's of a band called Bantu and they were playing in this uh, neighborhood. It's kind of like they went to like a local neighborhood, they play on the street and there was like this re they were like playing with like saxophone and like uh, it was and there was like all those kids going crazy for the music and I don't know and then with the sunset going the sun going setting I mean going down and there's this mixture of like kids from all path of life or I don't know even different religion and I don't know there was something so heartwarming about this experience I think nightlife is really eclectic. I mean, you can really go for very different vibes depending where you end up. I mean, you have like last night I was at this like beach area, maybe you know about it, and there's like a lot of bars. And I mean, this is a whole different atmosphere. But another night I went to this place on their water side, in Lekki water side or seaside. And it's like, there was like this trap concert. There was like spoken word poetry and trap. And I mean, for me, it's more about knowing what's happening and going to special events and mix it up. But I think 
I, I love the energy. I had such a good time. It's like one of the best places to go out uh, for me in the world, and I, I'm enjoying every piece of it. I mean, and I think the music is so great. I, I'm really vibing with the music here. I think it really depends. I think the continent is pretty diverse. Um, even so, I haven't been everywhere, but I feel like um, I think I think you, you find these multiple influences in, in different part of the continent. Uh, I think people everywhere like connect with the world. I mean, even even if they don't travel, they have the through the internet. People get influenced by the U.S., for example, or Europe sometimes, but still keeping the Africanness. But um, yeah, I think maybe you know. Like a place like uh, Lagos, because it's a bigger city, there's more daring people. I mean, if you go to Kigali, maybe it's a bit more, it's a bit more a reserved culture, Kigali, Rwanda, and people won't go all the way. And I think here there's a sense of like being loud and maybe a bit sexy and like be more, be like more like bold in the style, I would say. So it still has obviously different vibes depending where you go. I would tell them, don't listen to everything you've heard before and come with an open, open mind and be curious, be street clever, uh, but eventually it's not that difficult to travel here. It's, it's the, the main difficulty is, is your own fears and your own preconceptions that will make you feel afraid of things. Uh, but actually, it, it's a great country. I, I've been here twice. People have been very welcoming. I'm, people have been really kind and like been including me a lot. And so I think it's it's more about your own like behavior and like opening up and, and try. And people will will welcome you. Mm -hmm.